Hi guys, Camilla here and welcome to another Happy Little Stampers video. Today I will be creating a spinner card and I'm using this awesome stamp set with butterflies called Butterfly Birthday. Stamp set is by Happy Little Stampers and first what I will do, I'm gonna blend some inks. I'm gonna use Distress Inks. I'm actually gonna use just three of those, not uh, excluding the blueprint sketch. And I'm gonna uh, blend the inks on top of the Nina uh, Solar White cardstock. I'm going in with Squeezed Lemonade first, then I'm gonna go in with Twisted Citron and Cracked Pistachio. I sped up the video so that you can just get the uh, idea of how to blend in. I basically go in from outside towards the inside, unless of course like with Squeezed Lemonade I started in the center, then I just use a very light hand to apply my ink. And now I'm going in with cracked pistachio on edges and I'm going in kind of heavily and then I go back to squeeze a twisted citron and then squeeze lemonade to just nicely blend in all three colors. My panel is a four and a half to four and a half inches and just like the card base. And now I am going to uh, stamp some of the, actually one of the uh, butterflies. I'm gonna use VersaFine Black Onyx ink to stamp it on a heavy uh, watercolor paper. Um, that is because I'll be using Stabilo 68 pens to color the butterfly in. I'm gonna actually clear emboss it using my heating tool and Wow Clear uh, Embossing Powder. Uh, but uh, just a suggestion, if you would like to replicate the card, I would use uh, a regular watercolor uh, cardstock, not a very heavy one, because later on the butterfly seemed pretty heavy on the thread I used, and well, it went to towards one side, so it was a little too heavy. So now I'm coloring uh, the butterfly using my Stabilo 68 pens. I really love these pens. They are um, working perfectly with uh, or without water. If you would like to blend them without water, it's best to use heavy uh, watercolor cardstock. And with water, uh, just any watercolor cardstock works uh, perfectly. Uh, as you can see, they blend really nicely together. And after I color the butterflies in, I try to color them a more or less similar way. I fussy cut them uh, close to the edge of each butterfly and so when I put them together back to back, they fit perfectly. And then later, whenever, uh, wherever you could see the white cardstock sticking out, I went over the edge with my Memento Tuxedo Black uh, pen to cover it up. And for this technique to work even better, it's probably best if you have uh, available dies for any uh, shapes you would like to die cut, in this case, the butterflies, and uh, you're in luck because Happy Little Stampers actually do carry uh, dies for this stamp set. I do not have it yet, but I am planning to get one, because I really like the shapes of these uh, three butterflies available in the stamp set. So now I'm using Clear Wing Castella to cover up the wings of my butterflies. I already fussy cut them, and now I'm going to use a circle die uh, that fits uh, perfectly my butterfly, and I'm going to die cut through the card front as well as card base using my Sizzix die cutting machine. And that's after it was done, and the front panel fits perfectly on top of my card base, and I'm going to adhere it use it uh, Tambo Mono liquid glue. But before I do that, a crucial moment, uh, I'm going to add some thread behind my front panel. As you can see, I tried different color combinations for my card front. Uh, I don't quite uh, like how it didn't blend. And so I'm, not, um, I'm now using the scotch tape to adhere my thread. Uh, it needs to be uh, kind of tight when you uh, later want to add the butterfly in the center of your thread. And now I'm going to add the glue and add my front panel on top of my card base. Thank you. 
And now I'm gonna add my butterfly. I'm gonna put it together using Tambo Mono liquid glue as well. So I'm adding the first part of the butterfly. I'm trying to center it on my thread. And then I'm gonna add the second one on top of that. I'm gonna add some acrylic blocks on top so that it adheres properly together. And then I'm gonna come back when it's uh, after some time when it's all done. I then decided to sprinkle some water on my uh, card front. That method works much better when you actually have a watercolor paper. Uh, but I still like the effect. On the regular Nina Solar white cardstock, it kind of bulks up the where the mm, water droplets are. And here, of course, I made a little mistake um, because my butterfly reacted with water. And there was a few droplets that went on top of it and so a little bit of blue went on the card base. I then adhered some yellow cardstock behind it and covered it up totally. I uh, used the Happy Perf sentiment from the same stamp set and I stamped it using VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I'm using some uh, black marker to add some stitching all over my centerpiece. And to finish off my card, I used some corner rounders. Uh, it's a punch that I used on the bottom edges of my card. And then to cover up that uh, blue spot from my butterfly, I used some yellow cardstock to put on the inner side of my card. And here, just like I said before, I'm using some uh, Memento Tuxedo Black uh, pen to cover up the white parts of my butterfly after I adhered both front and back together. And here's the finished card. I really love how it turned out. I like the yellow, blues and greens together. I think it's a nice color combination and I really love the spinner card type and how the butterfly can just spin around in there and the recipient gets a little interactive card. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time, bye!